Welcome everybody. Today's tip is aimed mainly at the beginning players, maybe some intermediate players out there who uh, have seen what the drug policy is, but maybe just kind of ignored it and let it just set to default and just enjoy the game for what it is. But uh, today I'm going to go over a few aspects of the drug policy here and the medicine over here on the right, which is extremely helpful. And if you get the hang of it, get the feel for it, it's a great thing to set at the beginning of the colony and then you can forget about it. It. So first things first, since it's right here in front of us, let's take a look at this medicine. Now typically it will all be set to the industrial type medicine like this. Um, I started my colony as a tribal, so we didn't have industrial medicine, so I went in and switched it all to herbal for now. Okay, so that's what we have access to. That's why we have it here listed. Now if you could look to the next side of that, there is numbers. Again, by default they're all set to zero. But what I did was I selected my two best medical people, Emma, who's actually currently injured, uh, and Sh uh, Snuff, who is the other backup doctor. And I asked them to carry two of the high herbal medicine in their pocket basically at all times. And I'd set this at the beginning of the colony. So if we select Emma and check her gear, yep, you can see she's got two herbal medicines on here down here, which is very, very handy. Now, I will just note real quick as a side note, I've got a lot of extra mods installed, so you're going to see options and buttons here if you're a vanilla player you're not familiar with, but don't worry, everything I'm telling you does apply to a vanilla player. Um, just this is a basic drug policy setup and the medicine, again, you know, that's all available to the vanilla or just the people with DLCs. Now, anyway, Anyway, let's get on to the drug policy here. So you can see that by default, you start with something called social drugs. So this policy right here is the default. If we edit it, you'll see that I've made some changes to it here. Now, what you can do is the first column here is for addictions. This one's going to mainly be untouched. You want to pretty much leave this. So in other words, if your colonist has an addiction for a drug like ambrosia, and you want them to continue to have that, you keep this checked. Now, let's say you want to cure them of that addiction. Well, you would uncheck it. Then they wouldn't go and get ambrosia and stuff. Now, alternately here in this section where the numbers it says, keep an inventory, if you want them to, for whatever reason, carry around a particular kind of drug, they can do that here. Now, uh, I wouldn't recommend certain things because it's just going to sit in their inventory and kind of take up a spot, be useless. But there are really, really handy drugs like Go Juice, for instance, which is basically a combat drug. I get my colonists to carry one of those around with them at all times. And that's not just my doctors. That's everybody. Everybody who is set to this particular social drug policy, that is. So with Emma, you can see that she is carrying around the herbal medicine but she's also got a go juice and when i draft her you can see that the button appears inject go juice so that's extremely handy in a combat situation where we need her to basically be impervious to pain so one last note here about the uh assignment for social drugs let's see the middle column is just for recreation so if you don't want them to have ambrosia yayo flake psychite take that off but if you want to allow them to do it do it you know me i hate smoke leaf joints so i always disable that right away but um, the last column is for basically scheduling drugs. So down here where panoxicillin is, this is a preventative drug. It is it is a modded drug, by the way, so you won't see this in the base game. But if I have it available, I have it set to every five days. My colonists will come and grab one off the shelf. I don't ask them to carry it. They just come and get it every five days. They'll take it, and that's it. Now you can see there's a couple sliders for mood or recreation. So if a pawns, you could set these so that they'll take recreational drugs, for instance, honey mead. If their mood gets below 50%, They'll come and take some honey mead as frequently as they want here. That's what these sliders are, or if the recreation does. So if you've got a colony that's really heavily drug dependent, that can help you like tweak exactly the little setups. And of course, you can create new policies. You can have a policy just for people who are on luciferium. You know, if you've got a Lucy addicted person, you can change this up, tell them to come in here and take Lucy, you know, every two days or whatever they need it to survive. I think it's every five. 
But uh, there you go, guys. So that's a quick overview of the drug policies. Very helpful. Once you master this and then jump into things like the outfit policies, which is very similar, similar concept and food restrictions, it can really help you manage your colony and to a much finer degree, give you a lot greater control, guys. So ultimately, the goal is to win the scenario. So I hope you can manage that. Hit that like and subscribe if this has helped you out. Let me know down in the comments if there's any tips you'd like to share and I can make videos on it. Out there. I appreciate that, guys, and I will see you on the next one.